Wednesday, January 9, 2019 International Tennis Federation President David Haggerty Center, with Confederation of Africa Tennis President Tarak Sharif left, and Tennis Kenya President James Kanani during the official opening ceremony of the ITF East Africa Training Center in Upper Hill, Nairobi on April 26, 2018. Photo, Chris OMOLLO, Nation Media Group The first batch of the International Tennis Federation, ITF, and the Government of Kenya grants have been dispatched Ed Kenyatta said upcoming tennis players and the public should be able to use the facility in the course of this year when the first phase will be completed Tennis Kenya had estimated the construction will take up to five years the first phase of six courts and an administration block that will cost shish 75 million will be completed within a year advertisement by AYUMBAAYODIM or by this author work at the shish 1 billion tennis kenya center at kasarani starts april this year tennis kenya tk has revealed on friday Tennis Kenya Secretary General Wanjira Mbugwa Friday indicated that the first batch of the International Tennis Federation ITF, and the Government of Kenya grants have been dispatched. While the government has released Shish 30 million to the sports fund, Mbugwa disclosed the ITF has also released Shish 5 million for the project. President Uhuru Kenyatta, who hosted the visiting ITF President David Haggerty in April last year at State House, Nairobi, said that he wanted the Tennis Kenya Center, that is set for construction at the Mwa International Sports Center, Kasarani completed in two years. Kenyatta said upcoming tennis players and the public should be able to use the facility in the course of this year when the first phase will be completed. The head of state disclosed that the government had allocated Shish 30 million for the first phase of the project that will cost Shish 1 billion but added that they will review the funding this year with more funds set to be allocated. The Tennis Kenya Center will have 24 courts, an administration block and hostels. Tennis Kenya had estimated the construction will take up to five years with the first phase of six courts and an administration block that will cost Shish 75 million. Coming up within a year, we are meeting the architect of the project tomorrow. We shall also have three more meetings with them to see how we shall work on them since it looks like a costly project, said Mbugwa. We should have the final design within three weeks, Mbugwa confirmed that they have already applied for the next grant from ITF and the government this year. We don't want to project to stall immediately we serve off. We must get it right if we are to compete the project within two years as the president indicated, said Mbugwa, who commended President Kenyatta and Taggarty for the passion and drive they have for the project. While on a two-day tour in Kenya last April, Agarty, who had opened a regional ITF High Performance Center in Upper Hill, presided over the groundbreaking of the Tennis Kenya Center at Kasarani. Mbukwa said a team comprising officials from Sports Kenya, Ministry of Sports, Sports Fund and Tennis Kenya will be formed to fast-track the whole process. We have had several meetings and for sure everything is falling in place well, said Mbugwa. The government has donated 10 acres of land worth shush 300 million for the project. Advertisement Mr. Murath declared recently, the Stop Ruto movement is unstoppable. He argues that the president and the DP have served a joint term and should, therefore, retire get breaking news delivered to your inbox.